Hello my Linians, this is Teacher Kevin and today we are going to discuss the topic Solving Problems Involving Quadratic Equations. This video tutorial is based from your learning activity sheets in Mathematics 9, Quarter 1, Week 4. So bring out your learning activity sheet as well as your learner's module and turn it to pages 88 to 95. Our learning target for this session is the learner solves problems involving quadratic equations and rational algebraic equations. Before the lesson, let's have some warm-up questions. I have here two questions for you to answer. The first question is, what is the formula for getting the product of the roots of quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero? Timer starts now. Times. What do you think is the answer? Good job! The formula is C over A. The next question is, what is the term used for a solution to an equation that seems to be right, but when we check it by substituting it into the original equation, turns out not to be right? Timer starts now. Time's up. What do you think is the answer? Very good. That is called the extraneous rule. Our video lesson for this day involves situations that cannot be represented and solved using linear relations. Some of this problem have something to do with area and millage of a vehicle. But the applications of quadratic equations are not limited to these types. Here are some problems involving quadratic equations. The sum of a number and its square is 272. Find the number. First, let n represent the number. Second, write an equation to represent the problem. n squared plus n is equal to 272. n squared is the square number plus the number and their sum is 272. Let us write the equation in standard form. Since the left side of the equation is factorable, we can solve the quadratic equation by factoring. Factoring the left side of the equation, we have n plus 17, n minus 16. Apply the zero product property, we must set each factor equal to zero. Solve for the value of n, n is equal to negative 17, and n is equal to 16. Checking Let's check the value of n by substituting its value to the original equation. For n is equal to negative 17, replacing n in the equation n squared plus n is equal to 272, it will lead to negative 17 squared plus negative 17 is equal to 272. Performing the operation, negative 17 squared is equal to 289 plus negative 17 that will become negative 17 is equal to 272. Subtracting 17 from 289 that will lead to 272 is equal to 272 meaning negative 17 is a value of n. Next, for n is equal to 16. Replacing n in the equation n squared plus n is equal to 272, it will become 16 squared plus 16 is equal to 272. 16 squared is 256 plus 16 is equal to 272. Adding the two numbers, 272 is equal to 272. Since it satisfies the equation, 16 is a value of n. These are both solutions to the problem. Next example, there is a hole whose length is 5 times the width. The area of the floor is 45 square meters. Find the length and width of the hole. Solution, let w represent the width of the hole and 5w be the length as defined in the problem. 
there is also a given area that is equal to 45 square meters. Since we have length and width, the shape of the hall is a rectangle. The area for the rectangle is area is equal to length times width. Let's substitute the given into the equation. The given area is 45 and the length is equal to 5W. Getting the product of the right side of the equation, the equation will become 45 is equal to 5W squared. Divide both sides by 5. Our equation will become 9 is equal to W squared. Extracting the square root of both sides of the equation, that will become positive and negative 3 is equal to W. Since there is no negative measure for length, our value of W is positive 3. Therefore, the width is 3 meters and length is 5 times 3 that is equal to 15 meters. Let's have a recap of the topic. First, what are the applications of quadratic equations? Some of the applications involved with area and millage of a vehicle. Next is, what are the steps in solving problems involving quadratic equations? There are no specific steps, but here is one of the guides to solve problems involving quadratic equations. Draw and label a picture if necessary. Define all the variables. Determine if there is a special formula needed. Substitute the given information into the equation. Solve for the value of the unknown. And check your answers. At this point, turn your activity sheet to enrichment part. Reminder, do not write anything on your activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long bond paper. Enrichment number 1. There are 5 given word problems. Solve each problem involving quadratic equations and show your solutions. And for your wrap-up activity, just provide brief explanation to answer the following questions. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, Feel free to contact your subject teacher through text or call, or you may also post your questions in your official Facebook group or page. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.